What's up my makeup lovers? I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today is Foundation Friday but not your average Foundation Friday because I will be putting all of the drugstore foundations that I've reviewed thus far head to head and I'm gonna let you know which ones are the best. Now I personally do have oily skin so a big part of me choosing these foundations is because of how well they work on oily skin but I'm going to tell you which one's the cheapest, which one gives you the best coverage, which one has the most colors to choose from. Everything you basically need to know I'm going to tell you. So I have reviewed a total of 13 drugstore foundations on my channel. If you have missed those make sure you watch my makeup playlist so you know exactly how they work in detail. If I had to narrow them down to my top 10 drugstore foundations, I'd probably have to say the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat, the NYX Total Control Drops, the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation, Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin, the Infallible Total Cover, Revlon Color Stay, the CoverGirl Queen Collection All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation, ELF's Acne Fighting Foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. That is where my top 10 would be. If I had to narrow it down to my top five, it might have to be these right here. And if I had to narrow it down to top three, mm, probably these three. The e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. These guys really do wonders with my skin. The e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation really threw me out left field. I did not think I was going to like it. I didn't think it was going to be that well. I feel like no one's really talking about it on YouTube. So this one surprised me the most. And I think out of all 10 of these, it gave me the best color match on my skin. Another all-time favorite is definitely the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible. This one I used for probably like a year before I changed it to anything else. It really is good at keeping your skin matte and controlling your oils for a very long day. But overall, if you have not tried the Infallible Pro Matte and you have oily skin, I definitely recommend it. And the foundation that I'm probably most excited about right now, which I'm actually wearing as we speak, is the Maybelline Fit Me. This one is the cheapest one, first of all. So now it's only $5.99. It's easy to find at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Target, just about anywhere. And now it has 40 different colors to choose from, which is so amazing. All the foundations that I have in my top 10 have worked great on my oily skin, but now let me tell you which ones are the best at what. Let's talk about the price. The cheapest ones out of these foundations would be these four right here. The e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation and the Maybelline Fit Me are only $6, and the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat and the Revlon Color Stay are $7.50. They both have one fluid ounce, so you're getting the same amount of product, but it's so affordable. And funny enough, these two are actually in my top favorites out of all 10, and they're the cheapest. Perfect. Now, if you're looking for a foundation that has full coverage, I would have to give the award to the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover, and I'm going to show you exactly why. So as you see right here, I have this ugly burn scar that's just, you know, ruining my life, and I'm going to show you how well this stuff covers. This is definitely the thickest foundation out of all of these drugstore ones, so you will get that crazy full coverage. So if I put it here on my little scar, so I always put a little bit of this, look at that, totally gone. This could probably even be used for like tattoos, it's so good. Ta-da! Scar is completely gone. Let's figure out who has the most shades for you guys to choose from. Now at first the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat was definitely winning with the most color choices with 30 different shades and 7 of them being darker than my skin tone. The NYX Total Control Drops were number 2 with 24 different shades with 10 different colors darker than my skin tone. But then Maybelline came out of nowhere recently and launched 16 new colors to choose from with their Maybelline Fit Me. So now there's a huge range of darker skin tones for you guys to choose from. If you're looking for a foundation that's actually going to be helping your skin, I would definitely recommend the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation as well as the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin. These both claim to actually help your skin while you're wearing This one does have some amazing ingredients like salicylic acid, has witch hazel, tea tree, so all things that are actually going to be helping your skin while you wear it. As an acne prone girl myself, I understand that you don't want to wear makeup because it might make your acne worse, but at the same time, you also are going to always wear makeup because you want to cover up those blemishes 
I get it. So this actually gives you great coverage and it's also helping your acne at the same time. The Better Skin does have SPF. It doesn't really claim to fight acne, but it's supposed to be helping your skin look better overall. If you know you have a very long day and you do not want your makeup to come off at all, I would then recommend the CoverGirl Queen Collection 3-in-1 Foundation. The thing about this foundation, it's almost like a paint and it's almost very permanent. So once it's on, it's not the best to be blended because it is stuck on there and not going anywhere. This was my ride or die for the longest time and it really is great for oily skin. The only problem with this one is really hard to find. It's in very select stores. I personally only have it in one Walgreens where I live. But if you could find it, you're gonna love it. The Revlon Color Stay is like a YouTube favorite that's always on everyone's like top favorite list. And I do think it did a great job but it's not my favorite like everyone else's. This is the one that's really claiming to last 24 hours and I think I have some foundations in my top 10 that actually outlasted this foundation. I might oxidize a little bit or maybe the color just might be too rich for me, but there are a total of 22 shades and four of them being darker than my skin tone. So that concludes my little foundation championship. These are definitely the best drugstore foundations out there. If you agree, make sure you leave me a comment, let me know what your favorite foundation is and why, and if you have oily or dry skin. I would love to utilize my comment section for all of us to help each other out, giving our own personal recommendations in case you find someone that might have more similar skin type to you. If you learned a thing or two from this video, I hope you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new foundation reviews every Friday and other hair care and skincare reviews on Sunday. You also can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I will see you all next week right here on Bianca Renee Today.